salted caramel bacon shake. Did you ask him to make this dairy-free? Oh, shit, I forgot. Can you make it again? Let's see. Oh, Bahai. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Bahai. Fuck you. Five Palms, it's way out there. Yeah, I actually just started renting a studio apartment in Five Palms. No shit. Huh? Congratulations. Uh, it's a small world, man. No one lives out in Five Palms. Well, I do. Sounds like you do. I'm sure we have neighbors. It's figure speech. Right. So what you reading? Uh, it's a book about this filmmaker I like, Uri Ravel. Yuri Ravel. Uri Ravel. Uri Ravel. Uri. Udi. Sure. Udi Ravel sounds familiar. You ever seen a movie called The Demon King before? Yeah, like from the early 80s about the family that digs up the treasure chests in the backyard and then madness ensues. Mm -hmm. That shit's awesome. Yeah, but <clears> back <throat> when Uri made good fucking movies. So he sucks now? He sucks horribly. The guy is an enigma. He's just like one of the greatest mysteries in all of film. Well, I can think of tons of artists in history that had it and lost it. Where's the mystery? He's different though, man. Like, all right, he got to start in the late 70s making uh, several German true crime films that were based on like serial killer cases over there. His first movie, Carnival of Flesh, is maybe my all time favorite film. I mean, it's fucking legitimately brilliant. Yeah, I've never seen it. So good but it rightfully got him some attention over here in America, and he came over here in the early 80s and made a slew of like action, horror, exploitation B-movies, like blood, guns, tits, gore, that kind of thing. Yeah. And he brought like a real artist spirit and an artistic sensibility to those movies that like, hasn't ever been seen in that genre before or since. So. Somewhere along the line, he just like went to shit, and it's like he decided to forget how to make good movies. Like, his movies now are subpar Z-grade film student shit 
so bad, you just can't believe it. Mind-bogglingly fucking bad. I don't know what happened to him. You said he decided to forget, though? So, so you think that he's making bad movies on purpose? That's a good question. And I'd like to think that, but I don't know, man. I kind of feel like these are passion projects. I feel like he's really putting his heart and soul into these movies. Like, he really cares about them. Either way, the guy's endlessly fascinating. He's kind of like a hero of mine. Sounds like a good book. It is. <clears throat> so, you're a big movie guy, then? Music, movies, and books, man. It's like my life mantra. Hmm. Let me ask you something. Hmm. You wouldn't know where I could find some weed, would you? Fresh out. Hey, here. It didn't fucking stop. It just didn't fucking stop. <laughs> Does that happen around here often? Yeah. What, are you new to the city? Yeah, I just moved here. I'm Guy. Lenny. Huh. So where does that put us? Well, when does the next 14 come? Once an hour every hour, so an hour. It's not till 9 o'clock. Fuck. Yeah. Maybe we should go get a drink or something. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm pretty broke. I think I'm just going to hang here and read. Yeah, I don't have any money. I wish I brought a book. Mm. All right. I know a place like two blocks from here. You want to go get a drink? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's do it. Let's kill some time, guy. I don't think I'm going home tonight. What do you mean, not going home? See. You don't appreciate what you have. Skid Row, right? An entire population without beds and you want to burn yours? Just shuffle, Terry. For money. Mm. And what do you do for not money? Uh, well, I'm a writer. Scripts, screenplays, movie stuff. Have you ever sold a script? Nothing produced yet, but uh, I have scripts. You don't understand the pressures of having a family. I warned you. Yeah. So what brought you out here, guy? Change the scenery. Change the scenery with no artistic aspirations? You're not a poet? I write every now and then. I like to get a little experimental with it. Okay. Say you wrote a short story with no nouns, no people, places, or things. That's not possible. Yeah. All right, I want you to respond to me right now without using any nouns. Absolutely. Absolutely what? Blended. Absolutely blended? Yeah. Thinking. OK. Think. Well, try to run, try to hide, break on through without pausing, crying, or thinking. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. That was like half a Doors song. The pressures of owning a business, a successful business, are much more difficult. Is that really what you think? Yeah, it is. You can get your own. Process. That could be considered a noun. Not now. Now? Dude, that's it. Get the fuck up, get the fuck out. Get the fuck up, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. What? Go, get the fuck out. 
Oh my God. That fucking guy just took our nuts. That motherfucker. Yo, I actually read once that those buttons don't really do anything. They're just like placebos to keep people from just running out into the street. It's changing right now. I don't think those buttons are real. I mean, think about it. It makes perfect sense just to make them think that something's happening. So it gives them a sense of control. It gives them a sense of safety. To distract them. Placebos. Kind of makes me think of the word gazebo. Placebos? You know placebo, gazebo? Placebo, gazebo, burrito? Amigo? I don't know about that. You know, late buses are one thing, but a bus should never be early. Because, like, an early bus, there's no way you can deal with that. Like, you can accommodate for a late bus. It'll just be there when it gets there. But if it's early, you're fucked. Oh, fuck! No! Shit. Come no. on, man! Fuck! Fuck! Nothing to indicate fuck. that the... There's nothing to indicate that the bus is, is not stopping, that the line's not Fuck. running. God damn it! Clearly we're not gonna wait a whole hour for the next bus to go. Oh, God, no. Fuck no. So what now? Uh, I mean, I know of a weed dispensary that I go to sometimes not too far from here. You wanna get some weed? <laughs> Illegal weed. Today, California, tomorrow, Maine. And never Mississippi. Never Mississippi. <laughs> hey man, fuck your shit! You know that guy? Yeah, I know that guy. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's closed? Yes, it's fucking closed. Shit. It's gonna be all right, man. Ugh. Man, you know, I know it's gonna be all right, but fucking, I worked all day today. I gotta work all day tomorrow, and this fucking sucks. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I've got this little prayer I like to say at times like these. You're not a Christian, are you? I'm not a church-going man. But you pray, like, to God. Uh, or whoever's listening. You're an agnostic? Look, let me just say the prayer. It'll definitely help me. I'm pretty sure it'll help you, and I'll just take it from there. <clears throat> Knock yourself out. Dear Lord, give us the strength to survive and thrive. Do well, work hard, have humor, and give others the strength to do the same. I have a plan. I like trust us better than Kim. I like trust us better than Kim. I like trust us better than Kim. Yeah, this is Duke. Yeah, Duke, this is uh, Lenny. We met at uh, Ashley Hooper's place about like a month ago. You said that you could get me some weed if I couldn't find any, like if the shop was closed. You know, yeah. Yeah, uh, we're at 5742 Adams. Okay, I can probably help you out with that. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll come meet you. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah, I need, definitely need the money. Yeah. Okay. Sure, man. See? All right. Ready for another one? Yeah, yeah. Dance party. All right. Dance party. Oh, 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 oh,
Sister. Oh, it's a sister. <laughs> it's a sister. <laughs> it's a sister. <laughs> oh, just... oh I, I'm Peter from Sweden. Oh, we have nothing like this where I come from. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Five dollars, please. Oh, I, I don't, uh, I, I, uh... Five dollars, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, what do I have, what, uh, uh... Thank you for supporting independent art. Okay. Alpha 659er. Alpha 659er. Yeah, this is 659. Copy that. I will be here tonight. Make sure you're here before midnight. Roger that. That's it, baby. Look at that. Look how well you've done in just one hour. Look at the difference. You know that I love you. You know that I gotta do this. I've been here performing. We need money, okay? Okay, no, I'm doing the best that I can here, okay? It's a small ride, picking up a couple of friends, going to Uncle Roland's, and get some fucking weight! Baby, no, no, I love you, don't do me like that. You know, I'm just, I'm doing what we can, okay, girl? No, 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 girl, it's all right. It's all right, no, shh, shh, I love you. Daddy loves you, no, 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 come on, baby. I love you, but you know, it's, you come on, we can have a good night, you know? All right, baby, come on, let's go. I'm still not used to these helicopters, man. Yeah, I know. The helicopters are just a permanent thing out here. They'll get used to it. I sleep with wax earplugs in and white noise just blasting all night. It's the only way I can get a night's sleep out here. White noise? Like static? Uh-huh. Just like... <laughs> it's great. I yeah. highly recommend it. The sound thing... I mean, the helicopters kind of keep me up, but I can get over it. What really bothers me is just like bright light in my face. So I, I sleep with this like eye mask on, you know? Oh, here he is. Yo, yo. Hop in, you fucks. Riding back. Dude, where exactly are we headed? Well, I don't actually sell marijuana because I'm not a stanky hippie. But my uncle Roland grows his stuff, sells the local shops, etc., etc. Where is your uncle Roland's place? Hesperia. Whoa, whoa, dude, isn't that like over an hour away? Correct, probably a little bit more. Uh, that does remind me about the $10 service charge for $10. this evening's transportation. You never mentioned anything about $10. You're getting a discount, so don't be grumbling about it. I could have performed a short to be here with you pricks. You believe these pricks, baby? I got this, I got this. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, look at the fucking wheel. God damn. You fucking kill us all. Oh, Like an old gun. No. All right, check this out. Arizona, Flagstaff, Tuscan. Population, 17. 17! Cool. Good. Now, I'm gonna ride into Tuscan. 
then I'm gonna conquer every home in Tuscan, and I'm gonna rule over Tuscan as my own personal empire. It would be like a city-state. No, like an empire! 17 people, how hard could it be? Is Tanya gonna help you? Tanya can't help with shit! I'm gonna ride in the Tusket, I'm gonna take the woman, I'm gonna eat the man. You're gonna eat the men? Take the woman and kill the man! That's not what you said the first time. I don't think it matters. Oh, that'd be so fucking sweet! There's so much to be done! I've got it planned out. Infiltrate the infrastructure, overthrow the law enforcement. Oh, set up. Oh, whoa. Okay, but what about the children in Tusket? Say what? Yeah, Lenny's right. I mean, there's going to be kids in Tusket. What are you going to do with the kids? Never mention the kids. Yeah. They'll be my tiny warriors. <laughs> Set up a daycare, forced labor camp, some shit. Dude, dude, you would have the most fucked up, hellacious daycare center of all time. For sure. No, I wanted to be amazing. Beer for breakfast? Breakfast for lunch, which means beer for lunch, beer for snacks, beer for dinner. Fucking... Mm. So the kids drink the beer? Absolutely. So you just give the kids beer? Absolutely. It's healthy for them. Catholic Church did it for years. I guess they still kind of do. Baby beer. Now you're on a brand name. You should be the brand manager, the marketing manager. I'm not ready for that. Okay, okay. Oh my god! It's okay. Don't worry about this. It's okay. It's okay. Why? I thought that. Why would you even attempt to. I was curious. She's made of like. It's plastic. It's a mannequin. I figured maybe it's a it was skin. It's a mannequin and it's his girlfriend. Just let him. Res res respect that. Just respect that. Alright. Respect okay. Duke and his mannequin. I'm just. Respect the relationship. Sorry. There's obviously some real tenderness there. I'm really sorry. She has pretty nice tits. She looks good. She does look pretty I mean, just like really attractive. She looks a lot better than I, I feel weird about myself. myself. I've got like a half chug because of the fucking panic. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, just since I got in the car, I was just kind of staring. And I've also been kind of sensing this jealousy from him. Like, I, I kind of sense that there's an anger there. He doesn't like us. I don't think he likes us. I, mean, I don't even know you, but he doesn't like you. Okay, so you'll be here when we get back, right? Roland's waiting for you. All right. Thanks, Duke. This place is fucking awesome. Are you serious, dude? I think that's him. Oh, this must be the guy. Hey, are you Roland uh, Duke's uncle? You the 659? Yes. You with Duke? Uh, yeah, he's right outside. He gave us a ride. He's your nephew, right? What the fuck did you say? Uh, you don't move. Can you bring that fucking bitch Tanya with him? Yeah. Let me have your the fucking mannequin? phone. The mannequin? I don't, Lenny, don't you fucking talk. I have talk. no idea, dude. I... <gasps> Holy shit, the guy's pointing a gun right at my fucking kidney, man. Okay, okay. okay. He's got a gun right at my back, man. Okay. He really does. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna ask you one more fucking time. Are you 659? Are you a Duke? I, yes, no. I don't Duke? Know. Yes, Duke's right Do outside. Do you have any proof? You can come see him, he's right out there. What the fuck are you doing here? We're just giving you some weed, man. Startling. I'm fucking startled. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on. No slouching. This ain't no Jane Fonda Hanoi workout. Goddamn Suzanne Summers. There you go. Start pumping. Start pumping. There you go. Feeling better? You looking better? Suzanne Summers, get out of the fucking way. And we got this thing going, and you're gonna pump, and you're gonna pump, and you're gonna pump. I'm feeling it. You feeling it? Folks and dreams. Start those pumping. Start looping those legs. Keep that machine going. Keep on pumping. Keep on pumping. We're going places, baby. Going places. It's been 243 days, 17 hours, and six, two minutes since I have left this domicile. I have visitors. Some bring me things. Some want things. But me, I always remain. Well, where did you go the last time you left? Get licorice! That's the sound of success. Way to go. I can feel it over here. That body heat, the pumping. Here we go. There we go. I wanna go. I wanna go. Here we go. Here we go. I can hear it. I can feel it. You got the rhythm. There we go. You guys want something? The weed, right? Do you pay him for this? Or does, does he pay you? That'll be $25. Yeah, okay. Um, Guy, what do you got? I'm working with like eight bucks, but that clears me out till payday. Yeah, that's the struggle. We have 20. Is that okay? So you boys have your priorities straight. Yeah. Thank you. Um, well, I, we gotta get going. Thanks, Roland. Yeah, get on out of here. See you in another life. All right then. Bye. Get out of here. Thank you, sir. Go on. Go on. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. You still there? Yeah. Don't ever come back. I'll fucking kill you. Okay. That ain't Duke's car. He's gone. Call him. He has my phone. He has our phones. Oh, yeah. We can't go back there. You just said he was going to fucking kill us. I don't know, man. He was, was a paintball gun. He's a fucking prankster. We need our phones. We need our phones. Look at this shit. I got to call Duke. We need our phones. All right. This ain't no Suzanne Summers Hollywood lollygag bullshit. Hey, Roland. Determination, endurance, talent. Mozart, Michelangelo, nitty gritty dirt band. <laughs> Jesus, God, 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 stop, 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 stop. Is he following us? He hasn't left that place in over a year, man. You heard him. He's not about to start now. That was a real gun. <laughs> the 659. Did you catch that, man? That was good. That was fucking weird. Did you see fucking... 
Stairmaster girl. Stairmaster girl was fucking smoking hot, though. God. He tried to kill us. To be fair, he did tell us he was going to do that. And I told you I didn't want to go back there. Uh, yeah, you know what, guy? You did. And for that, I apologize. I didn't really see it going down like that. Okay. So what do we do now? I mean, what are you going to do about this? Hey, me? Why is it me? Why are you? This is, we're in this together, buddy. We're figuring this shit out. We're lost in the desert. <sighs> OK, yes. But why am I the scout, is what I'm saying. Like, we're lost in the desert. We. I just figured you had a plan to get us back. I did. Duke. You let us out here, that's all I'm saying. You convinced me to spend all my money. Whoa, hey, personal responsibility, buddy. I didn't convince you to do shit. You made all those decisions yourself. You decided to come out here. You decided to spend your money. You decided not to wait for the next bus. All right. So, come on. No, you're right. Come on. I just want my bed. Yeah, man, we're way the fuck out here, all right? Look, the city's over there. We just need to get from here to there. Maybe all right. There have been far longer, far more perilous journeys throughout history. Why don't you just hit this? Okay. And we'll figure it out. All right, come on. You got it? There you go. It's good. Yeah. Oh, the pizza guy took a slice. That is ridiculous. What a scumbag. Yeah, fucker. Yeah, man, weed just makes everything so much more infinitely worthy of study. Yeah, exactly. Like, take this thing. I mean, normally I'd walk right past it. I wouldn't even think twice. Smoke a little weed, though. Has me wondering, how long has this pole been here? When was the last time somebody climbed up to the top of it? Who was that guy? Or was it a girl? And what was her deal? Climbing telephone poles in the middle of the desert? I mean, I bet she spent her weekends in Vegas. Long hours on the casino floors, ordering tall drinks, no watches, no clocks. Or not. But I think about these things, and I like to think about these things. Well put, guy. I feel you. Yeah. I like that. Duke said we were in Hesperia? Yeah. He was driving about, you know, 90 minutes and he fucking drives fast. I don't know, man. Hey. Lucy's Diner, huh? Huh. I mean, we should go here. It's civilization. I don't know, man. I kind of doubt this is a functional establishment. I mean, do you really think you can see this sign from a passing car? It's just weird. It says two miles ahead. Mm. We're bound to pass it. Uh, I don't know, man. I guess if we come across it, we come across it. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. I see a lot of Elvis pictures over here, Phil. You a big fan of the king? Did you know Elvis used to ride roller coasters standing straight up with his hands Ooh, over his that's head? That's extremely cool. Phil, I, I think that you, you need, need to really just go. Uh, <gasps> So I see you got Elvis over here on the right, and then Patsy Klein over here on my left. Shit, man, it's a fucking shit, man. So obviously you're a fan of both. If you had to pick one, who would you go with, Elvis or Patsy? Go. Shit. 
Colt 45 to my temple, Lenny, I'd have to go with the king. Mm. But if I were to go necking with Elvis or Patsy Cline, yep. I'd go with Patsy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You boys listen to Patsy? Nah, sometimes, I guess. Every now and then? Mm-hmm. What's that? Oh, that's not good. That looks like a person. That's not a person, that's, that's Tanya. Looks like a storefront mannequin. A who? You know, a mannequin. Duke's Tanya. Oh, yeah, Duke's girlfriend. Do you boys know the mannequin? It's a long story. We should get her. Yeah. Thanks for waiting, Phil. Really appreciate that. Uh, all right. Hi, Tanya. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I feel like it was the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I think we did the right thing there. So how about the radio, Phil? Yeah. Cars only got one radio station. It's weird. <laughs> Mainly static. Sometimes you'll pick out voices. The car only gets one radio station? Check it out. That is fucking horrifying. Wow, what was that? You have to talk to the men upstairs. I just work with what I got, what I have. How long have you been driving for, Phil? Have you gotten any fucking sleep lately? I don't sleep. You don't sleep. You don't sleep. Not in a manner of speaking. It's all just one big sleep, though, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, whoa. Christ. Oh, oh my Jesus God. Was Christ. that your neck? Did that feel good? Patsy. She knew, just like I did. Boys know how Patsy died? It was a plane crash. Yeah, in Tennessee. That's right. You boys are sharp. That was a nasty one, too. Inexperienced pilot, flying through bad weather. Lightning striking all around. She was flying home to see her kids and her husband. Damn, that's sad. Yeah. The crazy thing is, she said she had this funny feeling. Like a premonition. Like she knew what was going to happen. Even told all her friends about it. Made out her last will and testimony on Delta Airlines stationery. Wow, that's fascinating. I didn't know that. I'm telling you. I felt the same way before it happened to me. Before what happened to you, Phil? I'm dead. It's crazy, I know. I was driving home, made it to Spring and Temple, and I crashed! I've just been driving this same route over and over and over. I don't know how long. But you're riding with a genuine ghost. The real deal. Yeah, I kind of gotten used to it. Sure can't explain it, but it is what it is. Uh, kind of funny how complacent I am about it. Don't you think? Yeah. It's just nice to have somebody to talk to like you. So, Phil, you're dead. How long has it been? 
hard to say. Time's just kind of like... So what was dying like? You know, just driving along one day. And it's just sort of like, oh, fuck! <sighs> and then screech, crash, bang, boom. You gotta stop doing that, Phil. Where are you boys getting out? Long before the boom. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Prospect Park makes sense. We can get out of Prospect Park and then we'll just walk from there to the 14 and we can catch it. And we'll the journey back continues. I'm I know, just, man. It's, I just want to go home. Yeah. Home. You know, Uri Ravel shot scenes from Death Day, like right over there. We just experienced something, man. I can't believe it. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Relax, guy. Jesus. <sighs> Phil wasn't just trying to freak us out, man. He was fucking serious, dude. I don't know, man. I, I believe he believes. I don't think he was just pretending to be dead, but I don't think Phil was a fucking ghost. You don't even know, man. So what are we doing now? Waiting on the 14, trying to find the bus stop again? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. And you know, honestly, I don't really know what we're going to do about bus fare, but we'll figure it out. I mean, it's not that hard. Fuck, man. Don't worry. This isn't the best neighborhood, Lenny. It's not that fucking bad, believe yeah, but me. it's fucking late at night. And hey, just... hey, now, it'll be all right. Maybe not. I hope we don't die. Oh, shit, I think he's slowing down. He's a little spooky. What the fuck you doing here? Oh, is this a drive-by? <laughs> Are you fucking stupid or something? This ain't no fucking drive-by. This is me with a fucking gun. I'm sorry? Fuck you going, pendejo. Don't even uh, what the fuck are you sorry for? Hey! Fucking gringos! Bitch! Bitch. Let's go! Hey, come back here! You know, if you ask me, that guy wasn't playing around, man. This area is sketchy. Grow some balls, guy. You worry too much. Balls? Really? Fuck that, man. And fuck you. We've actually been shot at tonight, Lenny. It was a paintball gun. Not the second time. Oh, yeah. You just don't give a shit about anything, man. You just don't care. I mean, guy, it's not like anything catastrophic has happened tonight. Yeah, but you got to admit, the only time you've been even slightly bothered by anything at all is when you couldn't get weed. Yeah, well, weed makes me content. It makes me able to roll with the punches, whatever they may be. Uh-huh. Well, we've been through that.
We have to prepare for the ritual. back man you took a pretty brutal whack on your head like right in the face but you'll be all right you want some of the sandwich no i have some nurse training so i did my best to fix you up there's a sandwich for you in the kitchen as well hey. where are we my name is dawn and you're in my apartment that's lacy and you ran into clyde and oliver on the street gentlemen Attached to their ropes. Sorry if they startled you. They did. Sorry about that. Me too. But we brought you here so that Dawn could have a look at you. I mean, she's the best. Well, she did do a really good job with the, the bandage and shit. It's just very professional. And thanks a lot for the food. It's really good. It's oh, delicious. Sure. Yeah, thank, thank you. The ropes are majestic. They're creepy. I told you. Let me see. Whatever helps them. Anything to help legitimize the process. Remember that. We have a ceremony to perform. We do it once a week, every week, to prevent terrible things from happening. Dawn shows us the way. She knows all the steps. Every week, we save the world. Every week? Every week. Every week, we save the world. Every week, you save the world? Every, every week, week, we, we save, save the world. world. Every week they save the world. Okay. You'll have to stay until the ceremony is complete. It won't take long. Uh, I've got work at yeah. like noon tomorrow. Noon. So We've got it down to a science. The ritual mm. is very brief, don't worry. But we really shouldn't have energies drifting in and out once we've started. It could upset the balance. It would be best if you joined our circle. Circle? Circle? Two guests need not speak, just observe. Lend your auras. Can do. Maybe I could give it. Lend your fucking auras. Present the lizard. You mean Andre? Present Andre. Here he is. Nebuzar, Nebuzam, Intefiam, Nebuzar. Three, two, one. Oh. Holy shit, you guys killed Andre! Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Andre. Nebuzar, keep the earth still. Symphoticus, keep the plates at rest. In Tethium. Oh, 
that? What is that? I don't understand. Did we forget something? Zetumontif. Zetumontif in Tethium. Seven more days? Seven more days. That's never happened before. Must be the presence of outsiders. What do you think we fucked it up? What did we do? You did nothing. And I think that's the problem. Wasted space. Emotional dead weight. There's just two voids sucking up energy. You guys are starting to sound like my dad. It's nothing personal. We just probably should have had you leave before we started. Yeah, maybe we should get going now. Okay, we'll leave now. Uh, sorry about that, guys. That's not there, man. There's an RIP, Andre. And... Are you leaving? Are we leaving these? We probably should just leave these, right? Uh, okay. Uh, you guys enjoy your. Did I take a car? Did I take a taxi? Did I drive? I'm gonna be honest right now. My whole brain is on fire. I mean, my mouth is just marshmallows. I can taste my whole tongue. Can you taste my tongue? Can you taste my tongue? No. Guys, we need to go. Did you guys say something about a sandwich? Get out. Are you serious? I, I'm just gonna grab it really oh quick. Oh my god. You're grabbing the sandwich. Can you not feel the tension? You can slice it with a knife. Come on. Right. Jesus Christ. Get the Dude, fuck out. It's so fucking tense in here. Come Go. On, man, I just wanna get out of here. Thank you. I don't know what you guys are doing, what kind of drugs you're on, but I would really like to know. So. Okay, you need time. to go. Okay, all right, sorry guys. Thank you. Mm. This sandwich though. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Some kind of Chipotle, fuck. You know, Lenny, I'm sorry. Don't. No, seriously, I mean, I was out of it before and it's no excuse, but I, I just, I shouldn't have snapped. It's all good. Blacking out momentarily might have been good for me, actually. I dreamed I was on this beach and there were all these swimmer fisher people in the water. I go out to about waist high. Suddenly, I cast out a line. They cast lines onto my line, and together we pull out this rusted old anchor from like World War II or something. But then there's these, these, these black, bubbling, smoking orbs that rise out of the water. And Do you think that the anchor represented the hopes and dreams of like all mankind? Hopes and dreams, hopes and dreams. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I like this change of attitude, man. Mm. That's good. That's good. They whack lizards. Whack. I mean, for all we know, it's not just, you know, lizards. Maybe it's smaller animals. I doubt it's big ones like dogs or cows or horses. And that stops earthquakes. It doesn't stop earthquakes. Oh, check it out. Uri Ravel's latest. Break solid. That title is garbage. Yeah. Ah, look at this fucking monstrosity. It's a genre of vomit. Titties, though. Yeah. Fucking Ori. We really ought to get going. All right. Yeah. Fucking Ori. Lenny, let's go. I was wondering if maybe you could spare some change or something. <laughs> fucking bitch! 
She should. She should. Thanks, man. No worries. Feel better. God forgive me. I left her out in the cold. Dark desert life. Dark desert life. I left it to the elements. <gasps> Evening. Um, do you have a buck or two? No. Do you? Yes. Can I have it? No. Can Guy have it? No. Well, we'll be on our way then. Wait, 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 wait. Um, you smell like weed? Uh, do you have any? Do you have any weed? Why? So, uh, so I can buy some? Don't you have better things to be spending your money on than weed, man? We are literally pity this weekend. That's true. Just like five bucks worth. Yeah, like five bucks worth? We can do that. I can pinch you off something. Oh, wait, wait. Um, my money's at my place. It's like two blocks from here. We can go there? I don't know about that. What's the hook? It's like right there. We need the bus fare. Yeah, we can do it. It's right over there. Yeah, why not? It's your call. Yeah, that's fine. Lead the way. Yeah? Sure. Okay, um, my name's Nickel. Lenny. I'm Guy. Lead the way. Yeah, uh, it's right here. Let's do it. <laughs> you do all right panhandling in these parts, Nickel? Yeah, not bad. Especially with all these new bars and restaurants moving in. A few years ago, this place was a complete wasteland. It still looks like a wasteland to me. I'm right here. Just, just hold on here for a second. I'll be right back. Okay. What have we gotten ourselves into, dude? I mean, he lives here? I guess so. Hey, Dennis. Hey, how you doing? Um, look, I, I brought a couple friends with me tonight, um, but we're not gonna be long and we'll keep it down. Hey, you can scream your heads off. No one's gonna hear. I probably won't hear. <laughs> All right, thanks. I like the color scheme. Yeah, I bet you get some nice peace and quiet in here. They bug bomb the place every other Tuesday, but aside from that... Ooh, I bet this place is like an insect farm. The exterminators actually do a very thorough job around here. I like it here because it's fully enclosed. A lot of those other places have those chicken wire tops and you can see right through to the next space. Whoa, Nickel, nice book collection. Bro, thanks. Look, I know it's unusual. I want you guys to know that I'm here by choice, okay? I gave it all up and moved to where rent is cheapest. You get me? Dude, yeah, absolutely, man. Your life is yours alone and everyone else can just get fucked. My sentiments, exactly. Nickel, you painted these? Yeah. Jeez, Nigga, how long have you been paying for, man? Jeez, probably since about the time my baby teeth fell out. <laughs> and I was always good. I mean, you should have seen my fire trucks, my Mr. Potato Head people. <laughs> they were the best around. These are for sale, then? No. Not anymore. Well, why not? There's plenty of stuff out there that's not half as good that sells for millions. Well, become an art dealer, then and buy my shit. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to offend. I mean, they really are good. No, no, it's fine. I just wish someone with money had liked my work as much as you do. Here, Nigel, why don't you go ahead and start this off? Can't smoke in here. Sprinklers. That fucking sucks. Yeah. Where'd you get all the books? 
A lot of them I've had. Some I saved up for. A bunch I just get for free right outside of the library. Ah, the rejects. I'm big on paperbacks. You know, they're not built to last, so a lot of them become lost to time. So what I normally do is I take tape and I wrap them up. And once I tape them up, they're durable as fuck. Shielding them from the elements. You're quite the preservationist. I can dig that. Mm. Love my books. Can't stand to see them crumble. Nickel, is that Whitley Strieber? Yeah, one of my favorite authors. I thought so. Good taste, man. Do you think that he was actually abducted by aliens? <laughs> I don't entirely believe him. I believe that he believes. Like, I don't think he was pulling a hoax or anything. I'm lost. Willie Strieber was a horror author who in the late 80s put out a book called Communion in which he claimed to have been abducted by saucer-eyed spaceman. Published as non-fiction. Non-fiction. But you said he wrote horror. Yeah, really well, too. He's one of the best. One of the best. People bought his alien story? In fucking droves, guy. It was a New York Times bestseller. Bestseller. So, uh... What did we say, five bucks? Yeah, yeah, that sounds fine. You know, man, that's all right. You just go ahead and you just have this. It's fine. No, I can. No, dude. Are take you it. sure? I'm positive. Take no it. money necessary. You need all the funds you've got. It's, it's yours. Thanks. I'll just keep that. Thanks. We should probably get going now. Yeah, man, he's got to work tomorrow. I got to work tomorrow. You know, we got kind of a long journey ahead of us. Ah. Whoa. All right. Thanks for having us. Uh, hold on. Hey, um, I want you to have this. No, no, I shouldn't. No, take it. You are genuinely interested. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Later, Nickel. It was real. Yeah. I really, I really appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Hey, um, if you guys ever want to hang out, you know where I am. That we do. He's probably got himself a nice little spot, like, outside. Is it the Dodgers? Is it the Dodgers? Check it out. Yeah. Whoa. Boom! <laughs> Free fireworks, guy. Fire's always a good thing, you know? People out here love their fucking baseball. Dodgers. Placebos. I'm telling you, man. Placebos. Tonight really hasn't been that bad. I'm a little dinged up, but it's gonna be okay. Uh-oh! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, are you good? What the fuck was that? There's a bunch of hurt. Oh, oh my god! Oh god! Oh, tooth! That's a tooth! Tooth! Back tooth! Oh! Alright, get out! Get out! This is no. good! No! You is good. stay where you are, I'll go see what's going on! You film what I tell you to film! This is my fucking car! This is his fucking car. Fuck! Subscribers. Earth. Damn store documentary. That little piece of shit camera. Uh, I'm okay. I mean, you just got straight mollywhopped by that fucking car. I've never. Oh my god. Oh, what is it bad, dude? Oh my. Uh, good. You're not badly hurt. No. You're Uri Ravel. Yes, I am. Do you know my films? Do I know your films? Yes. Yes, Carnival of Flesh is my all-time favorite. You're like my idol. My name is Lenny and this is Guy. Well, thank you. It means much, <laughs> but I must admit, I'm concerned about your friend here. Oh, no, he's fine. I'm fine. Your, your driver stopped just in time.
Sí, dime. ¡Pup! <laughs> be honest. A guy like Yuri can't really be doing anything for you, right? I'm not in the business of being choosy, sweetie. He's got what it takes. You mean money. Do you want me to explain the nature of my business? Yes. Yes, I do. Mm. As a matter of fact, I think I see my next episode here. What's your schedule like? Erratic. Erratic. Mm. Mm. I'll be blunt. Do you intend to sue? You? Oh. No, no, I don't believe in it. Oh. Oh. oh, well, a settlement then. Seriously, cops, no. attorneys, lawsuits, Nothing. not necessary. Nothing. <laughs> You're not a leech. I like that. You're an honorable man. <laughs> well, can I at least give you a ride someplace? Well, actually. Well, perhaps you'd like to come with myself and my friends back to my apartment for a drink. Oh, yes. Are you for real? Dude. 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 I guess I could go for a drink. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, Whitley Strieber. Yeah. Is this yours? It is. Okay. Well, I, I didn't paint it, but it was given to me as a gift. Quite good, isn't it? Yeah, uh -huh. it is. Dude, come on. And it wasn't my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Make way, guys. Right now, I, I really. This fucking guy won't stop filming us. What is that? Deal with that shit anyway. Hey, this is nice. Welcome to Ure's LA production offices. Damn, swanky, Uri. Well, I haven't been here for several months, not since the release of my last picture. Break solid. Your drink. Don't mind if I don't mind. Break solid. Yes. Break solid. That's the one. We saw a poster for that earlier. Uri took me to the premiere of Break Solid. It's a twist end, do you remember? Wow, huh? <laughs> I make movies that reflect the world I see. No, I take that back. I make movies for the world I see, and they make money. Enough money to allow me to make another movie. You want me to cut? Because of the coke? I don't give a fuck. What are they gonna do, arrest me? This is how I behave. You wanted to see how I live? Well, you've seen it. Cine mini. Ooh! Wow. Damn. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> okay, angel face. I'm going to be up a little while longer with these monkeys. Monkeys? Okay, so. <laughs> nice. Oh, so nice. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> she is sexy awesome. And you're the man. Awesome. Man. She is Awesome. Fuck. Yo, come on guys. Who does a line of coke and then goes to bed, am I right? Princesses. <laughs> okay then, Ari. Tell us about your princess. Cinnamon, is it? Would you consider her your girlfriend? Sure. She's tonight's girlfriend. Actually, it's been three nights with Cinnamon, so. So you're a serial dater? Serial date? <laughs> I don't date. To tell you the truth, I don't even fuck anymore. I just like the way they smell. 
At least you're honest. Gavin? Right? Yeah, you got it. What is this? I, if I may ask, like, what is this like for a documentary or for personal use? Like, what's with the camera? It's a web series. LA Stories? You guys ever heard of it? No. Never. Oh, come on, guys. I got over 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> We're not one of them. Your questions are bullshit. Uh, Denny. Gus. Is that right? Lenny, but, you know. I'm Guy. Lenny Guy. Can I offer you some candy? Ooh. Like, good and fruities? You guys ever hear of those? I love good and fruities. Not that plenty bullshit. It's not like that plenty bullshit. Not that licorice flavor, I hate that shit. Are you kidding? Oh, he means the cocaine. Yes. No, but thank you. Nah, I'm all right. This stuff never really agreed with me. Do you mind if we smoke a bowl, though? Of course not. Smoke inside, great. Thank you. All right, guy. So, uh, Lenny. Clearly, you've studied my films. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. I, I love your movies. Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, look, I'm a lifelong exploitation film fan. I don't think that anyone molded the loose European sensibilities of filmmaking with American exploitation films better than you did. I think that you made the most beautiful, elegant exploitation films that have ever been. This is the guy who should be interviewing me. Here's one, I've always wanted to ask you this. If you had to name your personal favorite of all your films, what would it be? Is it Demon King? It's Demon King. Uh, Break Solid, by far, is my very favorite. Really, Uri? Huh. Break Solid, like all my recent films, has more to say than my early work. <clears throat> and it has titties. But Uri, fast amount of audiences and critics disagree. Well, they don't get it. And you don't get it. And this YouTube bullshit is over. You leave now. Oh, you're serious. You're serious? I'm deadly serious. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we're, we're doing this? We're really doing this. You got footage. Yeah, I got footage, man. What are you, what are you saying? I give you good footage. What? You're right. You gave me great footage. I mean, look at this. <laughs> this is great. Of course this is how this ends, right? Of course. Guys, you guys won't be in the film. You didn't sign consent. Wham! Hurry. We'll be in touch, buddy. Good luck with your YouTube. Yeah, well, good luck with your film, too. Get out of here! Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Okay. Um. Look, Uri, <clears throat> I don't know where this all went south. I don't know if it's something that I said or something that Guy said. I assume it was something that Gavin said because he's a fucking dick, but... Break Solid's great. I I'm haven't sure. seen it yet. But I gotta... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. We need to... <laughs> <laughs> it's a prom, guys! <laughs> Jesus. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> and how about you? What's your fascination? Everything. People. And the worlds they're from. It's all good stuff. I just really like being present. Taking peeks into the open windows before life closes them. It's all just... Well, America is just layers. Layers upon layers. You should make movies. Thanks. I once loved this country. When I moved to America, I had never felt this kind of freedom. Not in Europe. The land here has such amazing openness and the people are such beautiful dreamers. The land inhabits the people, I think, not in the opposite. 
I'll always remember my first coast-to-coast -coast drives. My heart was filled with such gratitude at being able to experience this amazing openness. The openness can inhabit people's souls, engendering generosity, tolerance, enhancing the freedom of thought, spirit. But it opened me up. I felt as big as the open road, as the wheat field. the far horizon. <laughs> Things are different now. Fuck, man. What? He's not doing so hot. I don't think he's sleeping, man. He's not breathing. Yeah. I can't believe this. Shit, man. He's fucking dead, man. So what? We we call the cops or an ambulance or something? I don't know, man. I, I mean, I guess, man. But I don't know. I, I don't need this. What the fuck are we gonna do, man? Hey! <laughs> oh shit! Oh. I don't believe in leaving messages. I talked to the person or not at all. Sure. Oh, <laughs> he's not dead. God, he's not dead. <laughs> oh. I'll never die. Uh, so, um, am I with you today or uh, not? Because there's things I could be doing, so. What? What? <laughs> 